So guys, I just made it up here to the shop and Austin went ahead and got the fifth wheel unbolted and he filmed a little bit of it. So we're gonna roll that right quick. Hi guys, so Bruce isn't gonna be here for about another hour, but he already gave me the go ahead to unbolt the fifth wheel hitch so we can get it slid back because like he said, when he's hooking trailers up, they're smacking the tail lights and it's not gonna work where it is. So I'm gonna get it unbolted for him. So here we go. So he's got this thing unbolted and like I told you guys, we're gonna slide these two bolt holes back to line up with those two. So, ready to give it a shot? <laughs> How are we gonna move it though? Cause this thing, we're gonna fix the paint cause I'm sure we're gonna scratch the crap out of it, but. You look it up with a car bar and I can get it up from there. And the hmm. I don't know. Let's see if I can figure it out. Right up All right, let's see if I can set my phone down right here. All right, maybe you guys can still see it. You probably need to get up on there and put on that. You have to pry that side up too, it looks like. going right here guys we've got the i've got three bolts put in it and so far that's all that line up but there are still one more bolt we've got to put right here that holds these inner bracket inside so we've got to definitely bolt that one back up um, and right here is where they actually extended the frame they cut it right in half butt welded a new section onto it that goes back here on the truck obviously <clears throat> and um plated the inside you can see the inside plate over there so we're gonna put all the bolts back in it they had holding the frame together and then um drill some new holes probably from the inside this should be fun <laughs> a lot of fun but at least we'll get these three put in there it'll be secured so we can go ahead and finish doing our measurements and things like that so right now, guys, we've got the grinder broke out with the cutoff wheel, as you can see. And what we're about to do is come right down here and trim the frame. Come in closer to the truck. And what we're about to do right here is come in and trim the fifth wheel frame a little bit to clear the uh, spring brackets right here on both sides. You can see right here where they trimmed them before when it was further up. So, and right here, actually. So we've got to make some trim. So we're gonna take our cutoff wheel and try not to lose a finger or a face or an eyeball or a nose. So there you have it guys, we've got both pieces on here trimmed now. Um, our bolt holes seem to line up a lot better. So we've got, like I said, these three, that, those two and that one right there. We're gonna have to drill another one directly up here, like I said, on the other side. 
redrill those two. We're gonna put bolts back in that part of the frame because that's where it's plated. And uh, pick up some more hardware and get a big drill. So right here, guys, we've got, come on now, the longer bolts, which go through here because it goes through the fifth wheel plate, the frame, and then the inner, an inner, uh, what do you call it? Cross member, there we go. Like butter. <laughs> There's how we had to beat in. Oh my gosh, we're using a chrome socket. Probably didn't explode and go into my ball and, and go blind. All right, so we got six bolts holding the fifth wheel on right now. Here's where you put. Of these these nuts <laughs> up here in the frame where they stretched it. Tighten these bag girls back up. Skadoosh. That one's in there now. I got a little more. It's driving me crazy because some of this hardware doesn't match. Like, I don't know. Like, it's not. Nope. Not the right stuff. So we're gonna have to get a lot of the correct bolts to put back in here. Because I want it to match. Like right there you can see where they started to drill a hole. But there was already a hole in the frame and then they covered it up and didn't and just like plated it or something. So what we're gonna do with that is um, weld it up and then paint the frame over it, make it look pretty. Say a 5 8 bolt. What size is that socket? 22? 24. 24. And it might be, a, I don't know. We'll figure it out. So we need to get more hardware for this. We need to clean the frame up, paint it right there. Um, we gotta do something about those hoses. So we need to make a list. We need hoses to go outside the truck. We need a longer plug to plug the trailer in. Hmm. What else? I guess that's it. I'm gonna fold the cab up, maybe we'll tinker with the AC and pull the valve cover off of it right quick. So up next, boys and girls, we're gonna jack the cab up. I moved the jack inside here, if you guys remember. Well, I thought it was a great spot. And then we put the <laughs> chain box on here and it's just right in the way. So I gotta get up here from the inside to jack it up. We're gonna get the cab jacked up now, um, pull the valve cover off, see what we need to do there. If I can handle it, if not, maybe someone else can come out and help us do it and then um, see about the belt condition on the AC compressor, if we need to replace those, and get the AC working tomorrow, because we gotta have some friggin' AC. I'll tell you right now here in Florida, it's getting hot. Does that match? Well guys, here we go. This is officially gonna be part one of finishing the Freightliner. I hope they're gonna do this in one part and two part. Today we're gonna see what we need, and then two part will be Two part. The second part will be us finishing it. So we get this air cleaner out of the way. Um, get it. Maybe a little air cleaner with this air intake tube. So it just slides on. That was easy enough. Set it over here. You just have to come off right good valve cover off. There we go. Um, and see what we need to do about this air, this belt here for the. Uh, the heck's it called? Oh, there's a ton of adjustment left in it for the AC compressor. You guys can see in here, hopefully. We've been filming with the iPhone lately just because it's a little bit better to see. Oh, maybe not. Here we go. So there's a double belt here, and whenever we turn our AC compressor on, it squeals like crazy. I think that's because it's loose or what, but um, it definitely doesn't get much contact, as you can see. It's got like that little bit there, so when this thing loads up, I'm sure it tries slipping the belt um so we're going to tighten that up a little bit 
There's plenty of adjustment up here. You can see it right there. There's the adjuster, just slack adjuster for the alternator is basically the slack adjuster for the AC compressor. So um, to get that done, to get the valve cover pulled off also. I think I want to, well, I want to pull the valve cover off first. I'm really, oh, I'm really intrigued to see what's under the valve cover. I've never been inside one of these. Things. We'll go and get these big valve cover bolts out. My luck's probably going to change the valve cover gasket too. We do have the jack stand or the cab jack up under there so it doesn't fall on me or hurt me. So I'll just let you guys know that. All right, there's that. Uh, I, I do need a flathead screwdriver. Sir, will you grab that for me? Come right in here. Good, started? Yeah. All right guys, so we've got a light under here. This is quite honestly the biggest valve cover I've ever pulled off a diesel engine. Hopefully the gasket doesn't crap on itself. This is the uh, fiberglass valve cover. Ooh, baby. Whoa. <laughs> Damn, boy, she's thick. Damn, boy, he's thick. Boy, that's a thick ass boy. Wow, so overhead cam. This is crazy, guys. I've never really messed with an overhead cam diesel engine. Um, it's nuts. So the injector is like electronic, but it's still mechanically fired or pressurized. I don't know. I need to do some research on these because this stuff's definitely wild. Yeah, I know. This is pretty nuts. It looks like these bolt holes are where the Jake brakes are supposed to bolt to over here. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. This is, I need, got to do some research. I'm sure I can figure it out. I probably need to run like an overhead on all this and check that stuff out. You can see right here's the wires for the Jakes right there, right there's one. Just kind of, they zip tied it up out of the way. So, no, sweet. Harbor Freight for the, for the lose. So, all right, well, I guess let me do some research. Valve cover's off. We know we need to tighten up that bracket for the AC compressor, but I don't want to mess with that until we get this cut put back on because we don't want to have any contamination in the engine. So maybe you guys can drop some comments down below and let me know if there's like a procedure to do these, if there's like a guidance or workbook or anything like that, repair manual, so I can see how to put these back on it. Their boxes are sitting over there, so it can't be too complicated, but. I can definitely see like where all like here. the Jake's probably used to sit like on this machine surface because why would those surfaces be machined? So, hmm. I don't know, no. And we do have a good Detroit mechanic here in town. Maybe we'll get him to come out and do help us run like an overhead on it. Adjust the valves and injectors and whatever, all that has to be done. We just want to do it right, guys. We don't want to do anything wrong or half-assed or anything the incorrect way. So, guys, I don't want to do, like, a lot of talking on these videos. I want to get back into doing a lot more work, hands-on, showing you guys, like, every step of the process. So, our game plan over the next couple of weeks is to obviously completely, complete, completely finish the blue-collar semi. So, we've got the fifth wheel, you guys know. We've got to finish bolting down, drill some holes. Um, we're going to put the Jake boxes back on the Detroit engine, which are they're all sitting right here. So, they're all right there. Get those put back on, um, check coolant, basically check everything, reset everything one more time, make sure it's complete, get the AC fixed, and get this thing 100% done and do the airline extension, stuff like that. So this thing is done. Completed project, everybody should be happy. We have one project completed because you don't ever finish projects. We do, but they're not the projects you guys want us to finish, so have my nose itches. So yeah, that's what you gotta do. Jake boxes, fifth wheel, airlines, air AC, belt, whatever you gotta do there. I guess that's really it. Do you think of anything else, Austin? Nope. Oh, we need to put a visor on it and fix the antenna. <laughs> the antenna is like doesn't stay up anymore. So visor, antenna, and that stuff. And then the blue collar semi will be complete. We can just go park it, use it, do whatever, and it's done. Um, after this, we get the flatty back any day now. Um, we're gonna be taking the flatbed trailer. We'll walk out there in just a second, show you guys it's all completed. So right in a second, we're going to walk out here, guys, and show you guys the flatbed trailer. It's finished. We're going to be picking up the flat nasty in a couple days. So a 
I also want to get this thing done before we get to Flat Nasty. So if it's out of the shop, the Flat Nasty can come in. We've got to service it. We've got tons of fluids from Hot Shot Secret to change all the oils, antifreeze, axle fluids, transmission. We've got like everything. I want to service that thing top to bottom, adjust the transmission bands, stuff like that. Finish wiring up the vacuum pump for the AC compressor or for the AC system. I've just got a long list of stuff. We're going to get done on that in like two or three days time um, and get the flatty done. Then the flatty's done. And we're actually going to send it across the street and get painted and then once they get done painting we're going to bring it back pull a lot of stuff off of it and powder coat it and make it look pretty then when the flatty is done um in between work on the flatty we're going to start working on my dad's chevy love it's sitting right outside the door you guys can see it right there we uh got the uh carburetor picked up for it so you gotta get the carburetor put back on it fix an oil leak that it has and then um we gotta do oh drop the fuel tank and clean the fuel out or just I'm sure it's full of crap and it's a steel tank so it's probably rusted. So freight liner finished two or three days from now it'll be done. Finish the flat nasty because we got a ton of events coming up. The Chevy Love and in between here they're gonna be tinkering with the international cab over. We're working a couple dates to get um, Bus Grease Monkey Garage to come down here and help us do some stuff with the engine, turn it up, things like that. And then in the meantime, we're also working on ordering some performance parts and injectors, uh, bigger turbos, stuff like that for this 11 and getting the computer tuned up because it only does like 68 miles an hour right now because it's like, that's the limiting factor when it used to be a Werner truck. So we want to turn it up to like 75, 80, maybe even, maybe even 85 um, and make it go a little bit faster. So that's the plan. I'm going to stop talking. We're going to walk outside here, guys, and we can check out the flatbed trailer. It is for sale. We are going to go ahead and sell it. So we'll talk about that when we get out there. Ooh, 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 baby. We didn't get a chance to show you guys like the trailer being 100% done. Um, we do have to straighten this one spot on that top ramp right there. But other than that, this thing is done. Sandblasted, repainted. We do have to put the reflective tape down the side of it still. So we're going to do that. Um, it's got brand new tires. We adjusted the brakes. Brand new Alcoa wheels. Now those are very, very expensive Alcoa wheels. Um, we're probably going to put some new straps on it. Uh, all the lights replaced with all brand new LED lights. And we've we've basically fixed everything on it. All new lumber, pressure treated pine on here. Um, we're probably going to go ahead and coat it with something for now, unless someone comes up and buys it. But the reason we're selling it is because we need a longer trailer. <laughs> I got this. It was a really good deal. I'll be honest with you guys. We paid um, 5500 bucks for it, either 55 or 4500 bucks. Um, got $1,500 in getting it sandblasted. We've got $500 in paint and miscellaneous things. We've got $1,500 in tires. What are we up to now? About eight grand, about 8,500. And then we've got $700 in wood and the brand new aluminum wheels and all of us doing, us doing all the work to it and making it what it is now, guys. So any of you interested in it, we're gonna start our price at like 10,500 bucks. And we're going to end up with probably a 48 foot drop deck aluminum trailer that looks a lot better behind our truck. But we're going to use this one for now until someone comes along and buys this. If you're interested in it, drop me an email, brucewilsonshop at gmail.com, guys. So this is where we're going to end today's video off, guys. We've got a parts list made for the Freightliner. What we got to do, letting you guys know what all we're going to be getting done and finishing all these projects and getting them done, done, done. The trailer's done. Sorry to get to film us screwing all the boards down. I think you guys would find that too amusing. So we didn't film that but they will film putting some uh what's it called lacquer or sealer <laughs> sealing on the boards see i gotta seal my deck up and um that trailer will be done so it's for sale let me know if any of you guys are interested it's got a brand new spare underneath it also um but yeah it'll probably be a day or two maybe before we get our train coming no probably a day or two before we get all the parts gathered up for the freightliner so tomorrow what i'm thinking we're not buying it, not yet. I want to, but I'm trying to keep myself from buying all the stuff we don't need. We gotta finish these projects. We're probably gonna go back out and do a will it start video on that Freightliner, the FLC Freightliner that was at the scrapyard yesterday. For all of you that have emailed me questions about prices, I'll be getting back to you in the next day or so when we go back out and talk to the owner and he can tell me what he wants for everything. So that's a wrap for today's video, guys. Make sure you smash the like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel, guys. We have like. 45% of our viewers aren't subscribed to the channel, guys, so go subscribe. And uh, let me know if you guys are interested in the trailer. See you tomorrow. Will it start?